everyone, welcome to day number one, as right now we are have another game. This is game three of the Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports of NHL. Now this is where we are talking through the rematches on the Canes and the Rangers back at the Garden. As right at this moment, the Canes have a great lead to make the encouragement to have it all separate out. They now have a 2-0 series lead over the New York Rangers. If they get an extra one in, it will be a win or go home for New York. If New York wins, they will still keep on playing like stronger than ever and have it on board. And now, it's time now as we send you over to Jay and Greg for the next part of the game at the Garden. I'll be back with the post-game show of the three star players of the game. All for you guys. Enjoy your next game. Hurricanes and Rangers. Across the line, down the left wall. Tries to make 
make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Don't mind the idea, but it doesn't work. Now you've got to chase. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Here's a short pass to Svechnikov. Along the right wall, heading to the offensive end. And that's just out of reach. So Strutkin's going to cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traveling starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Still looking for our first goal. Carolina's won the draw to Lorimer. And he gets in the lane to block that. The Rangers take it across the line line. Sends it in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. Gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. Across the line from center. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. The Rangers have it now. Quick feed to Mikulov. Takes the pass. And now he tries to get it across to Kreider. The Rangers have it in the offensive zone. Carolina's in on the offensive attack now. Nice feed. Take it along the wall by Nosen. Meeple has got it on the defensive end. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. The Rangers gain position along the wall. And that got caught up in traffic and goes off the stick. Swayman's got it along the board. Carabinian's got it in the offensive zone. The Rangers gain control the puck against the wall. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. New York's got the puck against the boards. Casey's got it to the side. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. And he sacrifices his body to block the shot. You'll need more than that to beat him. And now it's grabbed by Lindgren. We got a whistle as the puck goes out of play. More than half the frame has been played here. We've still got zeros on the board. Carolina's got a hold of the puck off the draw. The Hurricanes cross the line and hit the zone. New York's got the puck along the boards. Moves it quickly over to the premier. Yeah, the officials pop that hack. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Blocked in traffic. New York's got the puck along the wall. Rangers goal, his fourth goal in the playoff score by number 13, Alexis Lafreniere. Is assisted here by number 27, 24, Capo Caco. And by number 24, Ryan Lindgren. Time of the goal, 13.49 remaining in the first period of the game. 23 shots on goal for New York Rangers and 20 and 29 shots on goal for the Carolina Hurricanes with Alexis Lafreniere score in the first period there's only 8 42 remaining in the first period of the Stanley Cup playoffs Who's 
Two minute penalty for New York Rangers for slashing. New York penalty for the Rangers, number 20, Chris Kreider for slashing. Time and a penalty, 539 remaining in his first period of the Stanley Cup playoffs for the Carolina Power Play. First goal of the playoffs scored by number nine, by any goes it. This is the year by This is the year by number eight. I have a number three by Kome. Time and a goal, 18-32 remaining in the first period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. 
Last minute of the play in the period. Rangers goal. It's first save first. Fifth goal on the playoff score by number 24, Capo Capco. The first assist here by number 79, Keandre Miller. And by number 20, Philip Hedo. Time of the goal, 18-3 remaining in the first period. 29 shots on goal for the New York Rangers. And 32 shots on goal for Carolina in the first period. Score for Cabo Caco. With one, one three remaining in, in, a, in the first period of Stanley Cup playoffs. Hey guys, Son of Feast here. And welcome to another part of the rematch as we've seen the Carolina and New York Rangers. They're a tough team though. But if you're upset about the New Jersey Devils, I'm sorry, Jersey fans, but that's it. Carolina are moving on to the conference finals to, for the first time in the history of making since 2005 and 6. It was a very tough one to make it clearable how hard they're going to do. But this time, they're looking for our next favorite team to win the Stanley Cup of a whole thing to be as the champions. But there might be a very tricky run to go for a tougher this year if they're facing against one of the difficulty strings of this game. Could be a wild card game between Panthers and the Hurricanes. A downward section of the Atlantic and Metropolitan Division between the zones of its inside. But if you don't want that, you can also cast your votes here in the comments down below for your selection of the next matchup of the teams for next season. All you have to do is leave a comment down below and figure out which team do you want to see them play next on NHL 24 on EA Sports. That will be on Season 3, so make your co cast vote now on uh, this part of the game before the new season starts here. And also, the deals is returning on the newest part of the episode on April, nope, May 25th, so that will be the next one to be coming in to keep your eyes covered here for the next part of the game. Anyways, that has to be it, and if you can't make it to the show, well, we got their live stream underway to keep you in sight because we only have one ticket left. If you can't make it that far, then next year you will find out if you can make it that far to go in. That will be happening here on both locations at Sabi Media Center and Gerald W. Lynch Theater. Now let's get back into the game. As right now, Jay and Greg stand by. Second period about to begin. Back to you guys. Takes the feed. Poked away in the neutral zone by Carolina. 
Set third goal in the playoff scored by number 29, Earl Chatsy. He's first assist here by number 18, Aaron Martin Hook, and, Mark, and by number 23, and by number 26, Florian Gottesphere. Time of the goal for, uh, for the Carolina Hurricanes, 7.45 remaining in the second period of the period. Three free shots on goal for the Carolina Hurricanes, and 30 shots on goal for New York Rangers. We're going to have Paul Chatsy with, with, with the goal. With 13.33 remaining in the second period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. They're still getting it all tied up right now, looking for a next goal to take the lead. The Hurricanes win the draw. Lucy Contagious. The Hurricanes gain the zone. Slides the puck over. Just gets up enough to keep it up. Save me by the goalie. Track the puck by the wall. The puck gets passed to the swap, and he has to make the save on a dangerous chance. Along the way, up the neutral zone. There's a shot. Oh, and that one pops up short as he just gets enough of that one. Nice pass. New York's got the puck along the boards. Quick shot. Picked up by Svechnikov. And now he moves it quickly to Ajo. 
Charles and one goal lead. Now be a little cocky. Play like a front runner. You've got the lead. You've worked hard for it. Barrel on a goal of his, his second goal in the playoff score by number 37, Andrei Shechikov. His first senior release is to hear by number 20, Sebastian Alpo. Down a goal, 11 15 remaining in the third, second period of the game. 33 five shots on goal. 35 shots on goal for the Carolina Hurricanes and 33 shots on goal for New York Rangers. For Andrei Shechikov, top of the goal. Score! 845 remaining in the second period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Carolina penalty, two minutes for holding. score of a 3-2 lead up by one. Here they come inside the neutral zone. 
Two minutes for slashing. Time of the penalty, 156 remaining in the second period for the 5 on 3 Rangers power play. Number number 24, 
Jacques Yaris. Time on the penalty, 1706 remaining in the third period. There's for the New York Rangers power play in the Stanley Cup playoffs. Carolina goal gets second goal of the season in the playoffs, scored by number 24, Seth Yardis. He is second and assisted here, here by number, uh, number 20, Sebastian Anko. And by number 24, uh, and, uh, uh, Adrian Snechikov. Time of the goal, 5.32 remaining in the third period. 46 shots on goal for the Carolina Kings and 34 shots on goal for New York Rangers. For Seth Yarvis, Seth Yarvis scored 13-33 remaining in the third period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Gets a chance on net. This time, though, the goalie beats him. The Hurricanes will play it in their own end. Sveshnikov's carrying it ahead. Denies the chance by blocking it. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Sveshnikov's working it around the corner. Here's the shot, and he makes a save there. Anderson's been sharp when he's had to be. He's got a good save percentage here tonight, and his team's in good shape. Near and down the period, four and two. Canes are looking strong. New York's got it in the offensive zone. Big time stop. It's a really hard save for the goalie to make. The coaches are always telling the people in front of the net, screen the goalie, take the right. But sure, put the blindfold over him. I don't know if he could do any more than that. But he fought the lane, found the puck, and made the save. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Lots of offense here tonight. 4 2 is where we're sitting. The Hurricanes will play from the defensive zone. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. The Rangers scoop it up along the boards. Receives the pass. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Slick feed. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Scooped up along the wall by Zeminijan. Here's a short pass to Carter. And makes the save. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Puck ready to drop here any moment to get things underway again. Carolina's got possession here in their own end. Quick feed to Natchez. Carolina's in now. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Heel stick handling in his own zone. 
Puck scooped up by Schneider. Saucer feed. Fifth goal in the playoffs, scored by number 74, Jacob Slavin. His uh, third assist here by number 20, Sebastian Aho. Time in the goal, 12-17 remaining in the third period. 42 shots on goal for the Carolina Kings and 39 shots on goal for the New York Rangers. For, the, for, uh, for, for Jacob Slavin, scored a goal, 7-10 in the third period in the Stanley Cup playoffs. Team goal in the playoffs score by number 10, Artemi Naren. His first assist here by number 21, Vincent Trocek. Time of the goal, 13 34 remaining in the third period of the game. 39 shots on goal for, for the New York Rangers and 42 shots on goal for the Carolina Hurricanes. Artemi Naren score. 543 remaining in the third period in the Stanley Cup playoffs. Oh, the 
First assist here by number 13, Alexis Lafanier. And by number 8, Jacob Truba. Time of the goal, 19-14 remaining in the third period. Four, 50 shots on goal. 41 shots on goal for the, for the New York Rangers. And 43 shots on goal for the Carolina Hurricanes. With Chris Cryer scored 42 seconds in the third period in a Stanley Cup playoffs. Second goal in the playoffs, scored by number 74, Jacob Slavin. Time in the goal, 1951 remaining in the third period. Thank you, Jay Sabolski, and also Greg Ferraro. It has been a wonderful matches. Close game in between the net with Chris Kreider, but Slavin finishes and turn out the lights for it at the Garden. A 6-4 is your final score. Let's have your three-star players on the board to take a look how they did. The third star that we're coming in right now is we are about to be seeing Sebastian Ajo. Three assists and a hit. Well done the pacings on the offense run. The second star on the other hand, this one goes out to one of the biggest. And you ever say, Capo Caco, a goal and assist. He only made six hits, but that was a great move for Capo Caco. He definitely did. And your first star of the game, this player does it all. Jacob Slavin. Two goals, assist, and three hits. He's been an excellent player to knock someone out. The Hurricanes have extension a 3-0 series, so this means it could be a win or go home for the New York Rangers. 
last season they've already won against the Colorado Avalanche and they were the champions, but it might be a switchback that the Carolina Hurricanes want some revenge. If they wanted to do it, they've got to show some more respect to play this game. 40 to two, 44 to 42 shots on goal for the Carolina and New York Rangers. 18 hits, that's an even close range. 92 and 93 percentage, that was excellent. In between Carolina and New York. No, excuse me, no power play goals for the New York Rangers and the Carolina Hurricanes. And that will have to do with the power play minutes. You just, you just go right from ahead. Anyways, if you hope you enjoyed this video, make sure to like to subscribe to this channel on Son of Beast. We're going to have tons of more postseasons coming underway right in just a bit. But now, coming up later tonight, we've got the Avalanche and the Wilds at Ball Arena. Tomorrow, uh, later tonight, that's going to be happening here. It's going to be another matchup to go in between the neck. Thanks for watching. Peace out, everyone, for a while as the NHL on Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports style. This is me, Phone 4, thanking you for watching. Good night at the Big Apple of New York. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.